In this lecture I'm going to explain Teal's incomplete method. This method is used for linear regression to fit an equation of the form y equals mx plus c to a set of data. It's an alternative to least squares regression, but an important difference is that this is a non-parametric method, so it doesn't assume that the errors between the data points and the line best fit are normally distributed. It can be used to help overcome the effect of outliers in calibration data and it's a simplification of Teal's complete method. So if we take this example we've got some XY data which has also been plotted and the first step that we need to take is that we need to split the data into two groups. So we need a low group and a high group and we've split these down the middle so we've got x values from 0 to 5 in ascending order and we've split these into two equally sized groups. We then need to pair the data points between these two groups. So we take the first data point in the low group and the first data point in the high group and we do that with the second point in the low group and the second point in the high group and finally we do it for the third point in each group. OK, the third step is that we need to calculate the gradient for each pair. So we do this just by taking the XY data points and working out the gradient between them. The fourth step in Teal's incomplete method is that the median value of these gradients is the actual gradient for our line of best fit. So in this case, M equals 0.2323 because that's the median gradient from all of these different gradients that we've calculated. Next, the fifth step is that we need to calculate the intercept for each data point. So we're going to come up with a, a, a range of different possible intercepts. And we're going to base this on the line of best fit, y equals mx plus c. And we need to rearrange it. And we've, we end up with c equals y minus mx. And we use the value of m that we just calculated on the previous slide. So we can calculate a range of intercept values and the next step for Teal's incomplete method is that the intercept is given by the median of these values which in this case is 0.051. So overall the line of best fit according to Teal's method for this example is y equals 0.2323x plus 0.051. And overall that is a brief introduction into using Teal's incomplete method. If you watch the second part of this series then you will see some further notes and caveats that need to be applied for this method.